What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So I'm going to do an unboxing first and a first impressions in the same video. I know you guys love these. Um, maybe not. I don't know. But I want to do an unboxing of Lauder for Men by Estee Lauder. And uh, I first heard about this fragrance from the channel called Ramsey. Ramsey Fragrance. So if you've never heard of him, he's a, one of the best fragrance, uh, just fragrance hobbyists ever out there in my opinion and he's just got a lot of information so i'll go ahead and link his channel if you want to check it out but just looking at the box it's uh green and gold and it says uh cologne spray vaporizer this is the 3.4 fluid ounce and sorry for the wind guys it just got really cold out here i'm freezing but i'm doing this anyway you know um and i'll just let you guys read the back here just gonna go ahead and bust this thing open Guys, it's so cold, I can't even feel my fingers. It's like 40 something degrees right now. And I should have just pre-opened this. Oh man, guys, it's so, there we go. It's like so cold, you just can't, you just can't feel nothing. Anyway, set that off to the side. Green and gold box. And I guess this is classified as a aromatic frugere, I believe, guys. Um, anyway, wow, look at that bottle. Just classic, the ribbed. It's got no stickers or nothing on it. The top says Lauder. And the uh, this cap part right here is green. It's like an army green, guys. Um, the vintage ones have a, uh, it's a completely gold gold top on it, and I believe they're splashes. I'm not too sure if they came out with the uh, the thing. But anyway, um, batch code, I can't really get that for you guys right now, but if this will focus for me, there you go. And also, I believe that the vintage ones don't have all this information right here but um let's go back up top do this first impressions and uh yeah let's get on with it guys all right see you up top okay guys so welcome back here no first impressions but i have an initial thoughts i tried to film a first impressions guys it was just way too cold i was in the middle of it and i just was like you know what i'm done now it's a little bit uh, later in the day it's roughly around 12 o'clock and uh I've been wearing a lotter for him um, pretty much for all day and uh, I gotta say it's a, it's a really interesting type of fragrance guys. Um, let me just read a little bit more about this thing and I'll just let you guys know kind of what my thoughts are of, as of uh, right now about like five hours later. So lotter for him, uh, this is by Estee Lauder, this was released in 1985. The top notes, according to Estee Lauder's website, are lemon, mandarin, sage, coriander, and cardamom. The middle notes are patchouli, sandalwood, vetiver, and the base notes are oak moss and amber. And they classify this as a herbaceous woody fragrance. Um, and, and I can totally understand why they classify this as a herbaceous woody. Uh, at first, I kind of thought it was a fougere fragrance, which it kind of is a little bit. But let's just talk about kind of like what I've what I've got so far with uh, a lotter, and uh, I absolutely love the bottle, guys. Uh, it's just classic. There's no stupid stickers on the front. Um, this cap may look black to you, but it's actually like an army green, and then the top of it is uh, gold. And I believe the vintage, the cap is completely gold, and I believe the vintages are splashes and not vaporizer sprays, but. If anybody has a vintage or who knows, just let me know because I'm not too sure. But um, guys, this one kind of surprised me uh, when I first sprayed this on because, man, it's it's really sharp, um, but it's also very green too, almost piney in a sense. Uh, when I first sprayed this stuff on, uh, I got a lot of florals, guys, uh, a super load of florals, like it was an overload of florals and. Uh, I got a lot of like jasmine, white florals in particular, uh, that carnation note which is used in uh, male perfumery 
uh, back in the day. I don't think a lot of fragrances nowadays use a carnation note. It's a very masculine uh, floral note uh, used in men's fragrances, like I had just said. But um, I got a lot of carnation, a lot of white florals, like maybe some jasmine. And um, I believe the jasmine or the floral notes in here, um, there's some sort of funk to this fragrance. And I'm not too sure what is causing that. Um, you know, it could be the oak moss. Um, it could be the musks, guys. Uh, I know the notes list amber. Uh, amber can be a musk note as well. Um, it, it could be a musk. It could be a combination of things. Um, really, I'm not too sure. Uh, but there is some sort of funky pissiness uh, animalic. And that's kind of what I get right in the beginning uh, when, when I first sprayed this stuff on. I mean, I was kind of took him back a little bit. It almost kind of reminded me of, uh, you know, classic corals. Um, just, just a tad bit. No, nothing, nothing to the point where it just smells gross, but I, I was like, okay, yeah, this is some, some classic stuff here for sure, because um, this stuff did come out in 1985, and it does smell dated. Um, like, when I first sprayed this stuff on, I mean, I was like, wow, I must be you know in the 80s or 70s or it, it really it didn't this a lot of for, for him it didn't remind me of a particular fragrance when i first sprayed it on but it reminded me of a place uh, it reminded me of like a thrift store a very a very old thrift store with old clothes and just you know handy downs um just where they're selling it you know you go to goodwill and you try to find some good deals there are great deals at goodwill but you know you just go there and it just smells used it smells old um, and that, that's kind of what, what Lauder, Lauder for him smelled like to me in the very beginning. Uh, very animalic, a little dirty, a little pissy. Um, gl I'm glad that kind of fades off though because this fragrance is also very bitter. Uh, and I think there is some sort of maybe old blanum in here, guys, which is contributing to that bitteriness. Uh, the oak moss could also be contributing to, this, to, the, to the bitteriness. But what this is... Is this is very, very old school masculine, and uh, it starts off just super sharp in your face. Everything's just, you know, florals, and you get you're getting the musk, and you're getting just the green. It almost smells like pine, piney, very green, very sharp. Just uh, I wouldn't necessarily say acidic, but just like just sharp, super sharp, super sharp, uh, super in your face. It kind of goes everywhere which I don't really like that, to be honest with you, just the opening. I, I didn't really like the opening. In general, I, didn't, I don't really like the opening, but man, it starts to dry down. It gets smoother and smoother and smoother, and you start picking up on the, the uh, you start picking up on that patchouli, and you start picking up on the woody notes. Um, and that's why I could really see why they, they classify this as a uh, herbaceous woody, because there's a lot of like, Herbal, it's very herbal, it's very green. And then in the very far dry down, guys, that's where you start getting a lot of the, you know, the vetiver and uh, the sandalwood and the oak moss, um, which is another thing too. Yeah, the oak moss did come off kind of bitter, but man, it smooths down. And once it dries down, guys, this is, in my opinion, it's like an oak moss woody fragrance. Um, and oak moss can also come off as woody also. So maybe that oak moss is contributing to some of the woody facets in Lauder for Men. Um, but, you know, it's, right now I, I sprayed I sprayed some on my, on my arm and this is like the far dry down. And it's really nice, guys. Um, it's very clean, it's very fresh in the dry down, okay? Because in the opening it's just very loud and sharp and green and a little dirty and a little pissy and as it starts to dry down it gets cleaner it gets fresher and there's also some sort of soapy vibe going on here um that's kind of what i just get uh from the five hours that i've been wearing this fragrance uh, i really love it i actually just reapplied this fragrance uh, before i shot the video um i can say right now as far as like longevity and projection um, goes as of right now like I said I've only worn it once uh, when you first spray this stuff on guys I mean it's pretty strong um, like this morning it was like 40 degrees outside and I mean it was projecting like crazy and 
as it starts to uh, dry down, it starts to sit a little bit closer to the skin. And pretty much now, right before like I had reapplied it, um, this is like dry down. I didn't apply it, reapply it on this arm here, but it sticks pretty close to the skin, guys. So I, I wouldn't necessarily say a skin scent, but you know, it's it's a little bit more than that. But uh, it smells very, 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 very masculine. Um, just businessman, serious business, guys. Um, I really like it. I'm really looking forward to doing a more tests on this because I also feel like this is a very kind of complicated, uh, very, um, uh, it's not linear at all. It changes a lot, uh, at least to my nose. And uh, so I'm very curious to see kind of, um, you know, how this, what, what I think of it in the future as I do more wearings on it. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, that, that's kind of just like my initial thoughts on Lauder uh, for him by Estee Lauder. And uh, thank you guys for, for watching the channel. I hope you guys enjoy your Thanksgiving. Today is Thanksgiving, by the way. Um, but I don't know when I'll upload this video, probably the day after Thanksgiving. So hopefully you guys had a, either had a good Thanksgiving or you're having a good Thanksgiving. And uh, I'll catch you guys later. Thank you so much for watching the channel. Locks in. I'm your host, Dr. Goo. And uh, yeah, I'll see you later, guys. Stay safe out there. Remember, you can do anything you put your mind to. All right, peace. I'm cold. I'm I'm going. I'm sorry, guys. I'm I'm, I'm done. I'm done.